When you've come home from work and decided you're very tired, ready for bed, think safe, tidy up at night, settle the coals, put the guard in front of the fire, empty the ashtrays. If clothes are airing near a boiler, remove them. And any oil heaters should be turned off. Take out electric plugs, especially heaters and electric irons. Not forgetting the TV set. All these are sources of danger, especially at night. Don't gamble with lives and property. You're bound to lose in the end. So when you're ready for bed, think. Here's a road sign that not everybody knows about. When you see it, someone who cannot help himself needs help. Your help. No, it doesn't mean you have to repair the car, just to pass on a message to someone who can. It can make all the difference to someone who otherwise could be stranded for hours. Morning. Saw the sign. How can I help? It'll only take a few minutes of your time to find out what the trouble is, and then pass the message on to the breakdown services. So if you see a sign like this, help. Pass the message on. It won't take long, but it could save a disabled person from a long okay. and uncomfortable wait. Right, Help. Pass the message on. Bed, darling? Mm. You ready for our bedtime routine? Mm. Before you go to bed at night, the evening's not yet through. It ain't enough just switching off. Here's what you have to do. The TV set should be unplugged, last thing every night. Fires can start in unexpected ways. So switch off all the fires at night. They could set your home alight. Fires can start in one of many ways. Get a routine, show your intentions, fire prevention, fire prevention. Check and make sure you close every door. We mean your life could depend on your bed. Time routine. Put out your cigarettes. Put a guard around the fire. Fires can start in oh so many ways. Get a routine, show your intentions, fire prevention, fire prevention. Check and make sure you close every door. We mean your life could depend on your bedtime routine. How's your bedtime routine? When your daughter goes to work for the first time, the excitement she feels with her own money to spend, and crowds of new friends. Maybe she won't care what job she does before the gloss wears off. She may get married and have a family. And it's only when she thinks about working again that she'll feel let down, going back to unskilled work. But if she gets help to prepare for a satisfying job now, then later on, she'll have a career to go on with. Make sure your daughter sees her careers teacher at school and the local careers officer. Ever seen a driver blow in the bag? It's getting to be a far more familiar sight than it used to be. Over 2,000 drivers are breathalyzed every week. Look at this chap. Had a marvelous time. Didn't think for one second. Now I'm not fit to drive. Then he makes a stupid mistake. Didn't think he'd ever be stopped and have to blow in the bag. We didn't consider himself a criminal. We'd only had a couple of drinks. But he'll lose his license. And unfortunately, his wife can't drive. But he was one of the lucky ones. Last December, a quarter of all the drivers killed were known to be over the limit. Last year, there were nearly 40,000 convictions. Make sure you're not added to this year's total. Drinking and driving. It's just not worth it. 
diamonds are for danger. The diamond sign means a dangerous load. Look out for the diamond signs. They all mean danger. If there's an accident, when you see the diamond sign, keep away. Go to the nearest phone and dial 999. There might be an explosion or fumes that could kill you. Diamonds are for danger. Keep away. I'd rather leave while I'm in love While I still believe The meaning of the word I'll keep my dreams and just pretend That you and I Were never meant to end Too many times I've seen the rose die Three pints of milk cost around 35p. That's what you could be wasting every week if the jacket on your hot water tank is only an inch thick. In a year, that's 18 pounds down the drain. So check your tank jacket, and if it's only an inch thick, put a thicker one on top. It won't stop the clothes airing, but it will put an end to a shocking waste of money. It's your money. Don't waste it. Save it. It's ever so nice and peaceful up here, Joe. Nice view, too. Ah, very nice, Petunia. And look at that nice little boat. He's having a lot of fun out there in his little dinghy. That's what they call him, you know, sailing dinghy. Aren't they nice people at our hotel, Joe? <laughs> Hello. Now he's splicing his main brakes. <laughs> Though I don't think the man on table number six is very nice. Hey, do you think he's in trouble, Petunia? Oh, no, Joe. He's just enjoying himself on holiday. Oh, he's decided to have a swim. Now he's going to climb back again. I expect that water's a bit cold, don't you? Oh, oh, he's changed his mind. Now he's waving to us. Go away! I can't say I recognise him, though. No. Well, he must know us. Maybe it's the gent on table number six. No, it's not him. He's much... Oh, now he's shouting. A lovely day, isn't it? Help! Help! Dial 999 and ask for the Coast Guard! I can't hear a word he's saying, you know. Help! Dial 999 and ask for the Coast Guard. Well, I never. If you see a boat you think may be in distress, dial 999 and ask for the Coast Guard. If you suspect that fire has broken out in your home and you open the door to investigate further, your whole family could be dead within minutes. Nora, get the kids. So don't open the door on fire. Come on, wake up, get your dressing gown on. Because fire spreads faster than you can move and smoke can kill within seconds. Keep calm, but act fast. First, get everyone safely out of the house. Then dial 999 and ask for the fire brigade. Johnny was a fool, he didn't act cool. He walked on out, he broke every rule. He should have stopped looking, listen, should have used his head. If he don't watch out, he's gonna wind up dead. Now don't step out when you're close to the edge. Or you may find that you'll lose your head. 
When you're out on the street trying to cross the road, you gotta try to remember your green cross code. You gotta stop at the edge. You know you gotta take care. You gotta stop, look, and listen, cause there's danger everywhere. Now don't stare out when you're close to the edge. Stop, look, listen, think, and you won't lose your head. Always stop and think before you cross. If you're watching TV without a license, the net is closing in. Our advanced computer has the addresses of all unlicensed homes. And apart from detector vans checking them out, we now have a special force of over 800 full-time licensed investigators. Last year, more people than ever before were caught and were fined up to 400 pounds. Get a TV license before we haul you in. As a rule, I practice safe sex, but, you know, like you like say, you have a couple of points, and, you know, just, you think, oh, I wouldn't matter this once. But obviously it did. Lads, who us? Hi, you. Come here a minute. Here you are, son. Take it. It's yours. Come in, it's open. Just help yourself, boys. It's in here somewhere. Ah, uh, you're getting warm, huh? Oh! Bingo! If you think this is crazy, you're right. But it happens all the time because people don't take simple security precautions. Video! If you want a left home, boys, keys are in the car. Don't be daft. Don't give crime an open invitation. Yahoo! I'm hoping this will be a night to remember. When you're up a ladder, keep both feet on the rungs. I was expecting Lancelot, but I suppose you'll do at a stretch. Don't overreach. Move the ladder instead. Well, what are you hanging about for? Look out for this guide to ladder safety. Get a routine. Show your intentions. Fire prevention. Fire prevention. Check and make sure you close every door. We mean your life could depend on your bedtime routine. How's your bedtime routine?